Now we have reached the end of this exercise. We are left with two questions, question number nine and question number 10. And again, our question is, we have to solve the following given equations. And after that, we have to check our results, whether our answer is correct. We have to check that. So let's try to solve ninth question, which is 2y plus 5 over 3 equals 26 over 3 minus y. First of all, we write the solution and in the first step, we write the question as it is. So we just wrote the question as it is. When we observe this equation, we see we have variable as y and we have this variable on both sides. So we have to shift them to either side. Here, we are going to shift it towards left hand side and separate our constants towards right hand side. So we wrote 2y as it is. And here we have negative of y on right hand side. When we will transpose it towards left hand side, it will become plus. So we wrote plus y equal to 26 over 3 as it is. Here we have constant on left hand side. We will transpose it towards right hand side. It will become minus because here it is positive. So we wrote minus 5 over 3. Now, when we visualize this equation, we have separated the variables and we can now solve it. 2y plus 1y is 3y, simple. Equal as it is, since the denominator are same, we need not to take LCM. We can directly operate it. So 3 is our common as denominator and 26 minus 5 is 21. We have a cancelling opportunity. So 1, 3 is a 3, 7, 3 is a 21. Here 3 is left, we have to get rid of it. Here it is getting multiplied with y. When we will transpose it towards right hand side, we have to divide it. So we are left with 7 on right hand side. So we wrote 7 and this 3 is transposed in the denominator. That is, it is getting divided up with 7. So 7 over 3 and y we have separated and our solution came out to be 7 over 3. Now we have to check it whether our solution that is y equal to 7 over 3 is correct. So when we check, we first of all write the given equation as it is. And in place of our variable, here it is y, we will plug y equals to 7 over 3. So we are writing straight away that is 2 is getting multiplied with 7 over 3. So in numerator, 7 to the 14. So we wrote 14 and in denominator, we have 3. So we wrote 3. So this came out to be 14 over 3 as our fraction plus 5 over 3 as it is equal to 26 over 3 as it is minus in place of y we have 7 over 3 so we wrote 7 over 3. Now if you visualize the equation we have all things sorted out that is in denominator we have common that is on left hand side we have denominator as 3 also on right hand side we have common denominator as 3 so we need not to take LCM in this case. So 14 plus 5 is 19. So we wrote 19 over 3 equal to as it is 26 minus 7 is 19 and common denominator as 3. So we observe that 19 over 3 equals 19 over 3. That proves left hand side equals right hand side. This indirectly means that our solution that we have found as y equals 7 over 3 is the required solution of this given equation. So that completes our question number ninth. Moving on to last question, question number 10, which is 3m equals 5m minus 8 over 5. We write the solution and in first step, as we have done in all the last nine questions, we are going to write the question as it is. So we wrote the same. Here it is simple. We see this time variable as m. We have to make it separated on either side. Again, we are separating it towards left hand side. This is your choice. You can separate it on any side. We prefer to separate it on left hand side. So 3m as it is. This here we have plus 5m. When we will transpose it towards left hand side, it will become minus 5m. Equals to as it is, we are left with negative of 8 over 5 on right hand side. So we wrote the same. We can solve it because it has same variable. We are going to subtract the coefficient because here we have positive 3. Here we have negative 5. So we subtract it and sign comes of greater number. So 3 minus 5 is 2 and sign comes of greater number that is 5. So we have solved it as minus 2m equal to as it is on right hand side we have minus 8 over 5. Well in this class we have learned that in numerator we can cancel straight away. So 1 2 is a 2, 4 2 is a 8. Also negative sign can be cancelled out with negative sign. 
So we have successfully separated this variable m and on right hand side we are left with 4 over 5. So we wrote m equals 4 over 5. That is our required solution. And now another part of the question we have to check our result. So we wrote checking and we wrote the given equation as it is and wherever we will encounter m we will write its value as 4 over 5. So 3 as it is, nothing in between coefficient and its variable means they are getting multiplied. So we wrote multiplication sign. In place of m, we will write 4 over 5 because that is our found solution equal to as it is. We are going to write it in brackets so that we don't get puzzled. 5 is getting multiplied with 4 over 5. That is m. So we wrote 5 into 4 over 5 in brackets minus 8 over 5 as it is. Solve it. 4 3 is a 12 over 5. So we wrote the same equal to as it is 5 4 is a 20 over 5. We have solved this bracket and its value came as 20 over 5 minus 8 over 5 as it is. Now if you observe on right hand side we have common denominator therefore we can operate it directly. 12 over 5 on left hand side as it is equals to 20 minus 8 is 12 and common denominator as 5. So it came out to be 12 over 5. Here again we achieved left hand side equals right hand side. This indirectly proves that our solution m equals to 4 over 5 was correct. So you see how easy it is to find the solution of the given equation in one variable and I check our results. The only thing is we have to separate variables on either side and then we find our solution of the given equation and while checking we simply plug the value of our variable that we have found in our solution part. And if left hand side equates to right hand side, then our solution that we have found in previous step was correct. With this, our exercise 2.3 of class 8th linear equations in one variable is completed. And with this, our last question, question number 10th is also completed.